One of the questions that's become more common, obviously, since that Angelina Jolie's experience, is what is the role of BRCA gene testing in breast cancer? So let's discuss the data of that and when it's recommended. Angelina Jolie, as we all know, is known to be BRCA positive and had a bilateral mastectomy to reduce her risk of breast cancer and did the women of the world a huge service by letting the world know of that. Here's a woman that lives in large part by her body image. I'm sure she could have kept that surgery secret, but to her huge credit, um, brought that to the public's attention. We now uh, see many women who are calling and asking, should I have the BRCA gene test? Interestingly, many women, uh, maybe most women with breast cancer, don't need the test because their family history would indicate that the risk is too low to do the test. But that, uh, that experience has brought that question to the fore, both with patients and with many uh, primary care doctors, gynecologists, that are now getting that question and making appropriate referrals to genetic counselors. And uh, I would argue that uh, she has saved many lives by preventing breast cancer, and maybe more importantly, cancer of the ovary, which is a much more serious cancer uh, that's also associated with the BRCA gene. So she's done a huge service, and one of the questions that should always come up in a breast cancer patient is the question, should I be BRCA gene tested? And that should be addressed and answered yes or no. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.